Well, it's not often we start out looking at the TV, but we're going to look at some of the better games for Atari. And I realized I do not have them here. Well, here and ready. Jump cuts are fun. I don't even remember. Jesus Christ, my memory is horrible. <laughs> I don't even remember if I said what we're doing today. We're going to check out Atari games. Good Atari games. Why? I don't know. I got bored. And I had my Atari out. So we're going to look at good Atari games. If you notice, the TV setup is di The camera setup is different. It's because... <sighs> I thought my camera was about to fall off. <laughs> The reason for that is because I have it on my saxophone case instead of on the bed because the thing it's in, I literally just put it in a car phone holder. That's what I do with my camera. Not really my camera, my phone. And it is too heavy, so when I put it on the corner of my bed where I would normally have it, I have to put like a game case or something behind it. And for some reason right now, it is not working. It will stay up, but it's a horrible angle. And I can't zoom in. So we're doing this instead. All right, let's get into some games. Um, let's see, how many do I have to show off? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven games. Um, there's going to be ones that are better than others. I'm going to... Let's choose a couple to save for last. Um, these two, these three will save for last. Um, then, yeah, none of these games are really bad. I think I know what order I'm going to go in. Um, yeah. So let's start out with the first game. Boxing. It's boxing. Oh, and by the way, just I'm going to do this just because some people might have no clue how to start some of these Atari games. I'm going to say how you start them for each of them. This one, it's Game Reset. So, the basic... This is a very... Ba most of the games are just basic, so... Basically, the uh, I'm saying basic too much. The idea of the game is you punch the opponent, you are the white one, and you just get to a hundred. That's the goal. Not really much to this. You got your timer. It's one button, it's a joystick. What do you expect? Um, I I will mention there are obviously better other good games on Atari than what I'm showing here. I mean, I don't have stuff like Breakout, Pong, all the good all the other good games that you just are kind of expected to know. Why? Because I haven't bought them yet. I don't even have Kaboom. And Kaboom's a really good game on Atari. Oh, you can switch! <laughs> honestly, that's... Knockout. That's honestly kind of impressive. I didn't think... For an Atari game, I didn't think you would be able to switch sides. And, like, turn around, at least. I thought you would have been stuck that way. <laughs> Alright, that was boxing. On to the next one. We've got... Good old-fashioned arcade... Action. Asteroids. It is also game reset. If 
Minotaur did anything right, it was always the sound. There we go. Finally, I teleported. Crap. Dang it. I pressed down, but it didn't teleport. I forgot to flip the difficulty switch again. Um, if you have it on the other not, let's see if I can just switch it now. We'll see if the other ship summons. Probably not. Oh, there it is! <laughs> yeah, depending on the difficulty you have it set to, that might show up. Okay. You get the point. It's Asteroids. It's just a good arcade game. Speaking of good arcade games... Donkey Kong! Or sorry, plumber, gingerbread man, whatever that thing is. And chocolate chip cookies. I was trying to see someone and I ended up. <laughs> um, this is probably the most basic version of Donkey Kong you'll ever get. It is... Oh, come on. It is two stages. 25 and 100. The barrels seem like they cannot go down the... Oh, wait, did that one just go down the ladder? Yep, they can go down the ladder, okay. Oh, come on! Oh, and fun fact, some of these games... Oh! You can't hit game reset. Nice. Some of the games you just have to turn... The, you just have to power cycle the console in order to play them again. And it gets really annoying. Because say you're playing something like Pitfall, that's one of the games I know where it, ha it happens, and you're trying to beat it, but you just can't because you have to power the si power cycle every single time you get game over. There we go, finally. Okay. Here's how basic this actually gets, though. Oh, come on! And now I gotta do that all over again. Hopefully without dying this time. And now I'm stuck. Yeah, the they don't respawn and they don't spawn on any other, so the hammer is just kind of useless. Alright, you get the point. It just goes back to 25 after this. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to say. Uh, that one, in order to start, you just press the red button. So you just jump to start. Now, if I can get the cartridge in. Oh, 
crap, it's set to that one. I prefer smaller ship. <laughs> uh, this one is also game reset. This is Space Invaders, if you couldn't tell. Sped up. Let's be fair, considering it's on Atari. Graphics aren't good, but it's Space Invaders. Like, you take Space Invaders down to its core, this is it. Oh god! <laughs> oh, that's Space Invaders. And that's it for the first four. We're on to the best games that I have. Specifically that I have. Now. To decide where we start. I'll reveal the games now. The others have been a mystery. The games we have are Mario Bros, Pitfall, and Missile Command. Where to start? The one with the best explosions, and I'm pretty sure the only explosions. This one is also Game Reset. This would work so much better with a trackball controller, but I don't think the original 2600 had one. So you're just stuck with the basic joystick moving around your cursor. Eventually the color changes, that uh, indicates the speed change, which I am not always ready for. Also, yes, you do have ammo. It's indicated by the boxes below your turret. I'm gonna let the controller go because there is something really cool I want you guys to see. Missile Command has the best explosions, just entirely. Oh, by the way, you can only shoot three at a time. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, we survived another round. I don't know how. Here we go. This should be it. is what you call an explosion. All right, I'm just gonna go in order. Uh, this is Pitfall. Ow. You started by moving. Just in case you don't know, to get off of that, you gotta press down. This may not seem like fun, but when you're actually playing it, you can see how this led to games like Mario, Sonic, every all the games like everyone knows. You can see how this led to them being made. Can I ignore that? So, Pitfall. How do- Oh, you can do game reset! Awesome, I don't have to power cycle my console anymore. Okay. How do we know Pitfall led to stuff like Mario? Well, speaking like the original Super Mario Brothers, not like Mario Bros. Donkey Kong. Because this was the one of the first games other than like basic arcade games, stuff like Gal... <laughs> stuff like Galaga. Um, Pac-Man. Basically all the arcade games you think of when you think generic. <laughs> I am so sorry, but... <laughs> it's true. No one looks at Pac-Man and thinks, that is original. Oh, by the way, fire and snakes kill you in one hit. But no one thinks, like... Those kinds of arcade games. No one thinks Space Invaders. Asteroids. I don't have any others here. <laughs> Pac-Man. Stuff like that. No one looks at that and thinks that is very, very original. You look at something like Mario Bros. Missile Command, even. Yeah, that's pretty original. Pitfall was one of the first games to get clones of it. What happened to Mario? It also had clones. Some types of games are just clearly better than others. This is just one of the good Atari games. Simple as that. And I've been talking about Mario too much for us not to play... Oh, I'm holding the cartridge upside down. 
Mario! This one you start by pressing the button. Barely dodge that. Something's coming out the plumbing for Luigi's in a bunch. I always forget what the actual word there is. Something's coming out the plumbing for Lu Ow. For Luigi, little five giant turtles out the game, creepy crabs are right behind. Fireflies, jeepers, yikes, something's coming up the pines. Mario, where are you? I died. Dude, oh, never mind. Oh my god! Ow. There we go. You guys saw how close that was. YouTuber, step one, make funny noises. Step two, on a camera. That's a lie, because many YouTubers just straight up use their phone, like me. I thought he was already hit once. He was already hit once! Why does it reset when they go through it? That doesn't happen in the original game! And that is how we'll end today's video. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.